Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. This is the Craig Brown FSD. I wanted to talk about this knife really quick. This is a discontinued knife, so it is no longer available, but it's new to me, so it's new to you. This knife is beautifully engineered. It's built, built in Blaine, Washington by Craig Brown, and it features a fantastic, interesting lock. It is a button lock that you can see here. When I press the button, it disengages the lock on the opposite side. And what that does for you is it makes for a fantastic open and close knife. You can even hold the button down and flick it open if you like. So this is a fidget machine. And for a larger knife, it couldn't be easier to hold, easier to use. It's a fantastic knife. Now I do have larger than normal hands. Uh, these are XLs. And when I hold this knife, it does fill it up pretty good. I think if I had petite hands, this might be a knife that would not be for me. I probably want the mini FSD, which is available now. But if you're interested in a larger knife that's made to unbelievably good tolerances, this is the knife for you. Craig Brown has designed this knife to have a fuller in the blade that's actually usable, so the knife can be finger flicked. It also has a back flipper in the style of perhaps a Vero knife. And then we also have a front flipper. Uh, front flipping is not my expertise, uh, but the knife can be front flipped by those who are good at it. Uh, the grind is a high hollow grind, and it, this one has a uh, belt satin, so you can still see the grind lines in it. My particular model is available in 20CV. The bulk of the Craig Brown knives are in 154CM, I believe, CPM 154. Uh, this knife also features a titanium handle, titanium clip. Some things that I love about this knife, in the pocket, it's fairly compact for the size of the knife. So this is a rather large knife, but in the pocket it carries comfortably uh, because it's rather thin. I find that the blade is very slicey. The uh, thickness behind the edge is very thin, so it's very, very good at slicing through things. The tip is sturdy. Uh, there's have this little extra reinforcement here at the end of the fuller, uh, which I feel adds a little strength to the tip. Another thing I like about the knife is the fidget factor. It's a fantastic knife for just sitting around and flipping and having fun. It's a rather ambidextrous design, all things considered. It is a right-handed model, but having the lock back here means that as a lefty, it makes it very easy for me to use the knife left-handed, right-handed, and that's something that matters to me. The Craig Brown knives are all impeccably made. He is quite the machinist. The man understands how to machine a knife, and I have to say that... Um, his attention to detail in the little things really, really make a difference on this knife. Most of the time when I buy a new knife, I feel compelled to take it apart, open it up, clean it out, uh, see how it works. This is a knife that I bought and uh, I didn't even get it from him. I got it secondhand, so who knows where it's been, right? Despite that, I still have no, no plans to open this thing anytime soon. It absolutely functions perfectly right out of the packaging and I couldn't be happier with it. So if, you would like to own a larger handled, larger bladed knife made to extremely high quality tolerances, sparing no expense in terms of attention to detail and precision. This is a wonderful knife to choose from. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helps you uh, understand a little bit more about the Craig Brown knife. I would encourage you to go check out his website and his socials. And uh, I believe there's a Facebook group as well as an Instagram page so you can read more about it. If you want to hang out with a Facebook group, uh, our group, we are the Spider Cove Millie PM2 Para 3 Club, and you'll find us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day.